Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles and welcome to Blender for Noobs. In this video tutorial, what we're going to be looking at is creating a simple plate that is a sort of like a metal plate with holes in it. So let me go ahead and bring up the drawing that I'm going to use. I'm going to hit the uh, N key to bring up this menu and go ahead over here and choose background images, add image, and I'm going to use it in the top view and I'm going to open my image up here and this is kind of the plate, just a fairly simple plate that I found on the internet which we're going to use. It's pretty much a square plate with some holes in it. So I'm going to choose in to turn off that menu there. So you might ask why in Blender would you create this type of drawing? Sort of, because it's sort of like an engineering drawing. Well, normally in Blender you probably don't do this. You'd use something like an AutoCAD program. But it is interesting that you can do this type of stuff in Blender. And knowing what you can do in Blender, I think, you know, helps you in, when you work with other things in Blender. So, And also, just to, to let you know, you can see the measurements on this plate. You can actually do that as well. If we do, um, I'm just going to do a Shift A, create a plane. Let's scale it up a little bit and tab into edit mode. And then I'm going to go back into the end menu. If you wanted to see the measurements, then you can come down here to the edge info and you can select any of these that you want. I'm just going to select length and go over to your scene settings and choose the units that you're using. You can choose metric or imperial. And I'm going to choose metric. And when you do that, you can see two meters here, two meters there, two meters there. And you can select actually just one part of it to see the measurement that's there. And you'll notice also up here you'll see meters. That's the um, pretty much what your grid measurement is in. And as you zoom in, you'll see it changes to 10 centimeters. Then it'll change to centimeters and then millimeters. So you can actually create your drawing that is really true to scale. but I'm not going to go into trying to get this exactly the size of this drawing, so I'm just going to turn that off for now, in out of that, and choose none over here. And I'm going to just A select this and G move it kind of into position there. Grab these, drag them over to where it should be. Grab these vertices and go here. Okay, tab back into object mode. I'm going to choose Z. Go into wireframe mode so we can see where our holes are at. Okay, let's go ahead and go back into edit mode on this. Basically, it was what we have right now, just a square plane. And we're going to create some loop cuts because I want the areas around the circles to have geometry, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to do a control R and over here and select this so just we have some geometry outside of these circles control R again and this one can be the geometry outside of these circles and this large circle control R again same thing for this one and we'll leave this edge here as being the uh, other side of this hole and do a control R and this time we're going to do a side side uh, loop cut. Just bring it down here just so it's on the outside of these two holes. Control R again. And outside of these two holes on the other side. Control R again. And outside of this hole here. And for the large hole, we'll say that this area right here is what's surrounding it. So we really need something here to pull it down. So I'm going to do a control R and put a loop cut in there. And I'm going to grab this vertex and just drag it down a little bit just so it's outside of that circle. So if we go to faces, choose spaces, and we can choose this face here, this face here, um, these faces here, in this face here. You can see that we have pretty much geometry around each one of these what are, what are going to be holes. 
And the reason that I'm doing this is because when we create these holes, we're going to have geometry that is created, edges that are created, and we don't want them going all over the place in the geometry. It's just going to be a kind of a bad way to do it. So we want to make sure that we kind of limit the amount of area that is being affected. Okay, so we got all that done. Let's tab back into object mode, Z, in out of wireframe. So this is our basic plate right now, and we need to put the holes in there. So top view, 7, Z back in so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to do a Shift A, create a cylinder. Go ahead and T into your tool menu before you do anything with this uh, cylinder. And you want to make sure you have probably around 32 vertices. You want it to be fairly smooth. It just really depends on how smooth you want that to be. You could bump it up higher, but you'll have more geometry to deal with. And just make sure the cap field type is nothing. So T back out of that. I'm going to scale this up. Move it around a little bit just so it's pretty much in place. I'm going to tab in edit mode on this cylinder. And I'm going to do a Shift D, scale it down, and G move it over here. Scale it down, and I'm just going to create what's going to be this hole here. Okay, this is probably a, like a countersink or something, but I don't have a side view, so I don't really know. I'm just going to just going to create the hole there. So Shift D again, come down here. That'll be that hole. Shift D again. Move it over. Okay, we'll say it's right there. And notice that I created all those duplicates while I was in edit mode. So if I tab back in object mode, let's turn off wireframe, you can see that these cylinders are all one piece, which is what we want. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and name these so we'll know what they are. Come over to a window and choose your outliner. And we'll choose our plate. Instead of a plane, I'm going to control click here. And I'm going to call it a plate. I'm going to choose what's going to be the holes. Control click there and just call them holes. Okay, so what we're going to do in order to create these holes is we're going to use the Boolean modifier. So we need to do that on the piece that's going to be affected. So I'm going to select the plate. Come over to your modifiers, choose add modifier, and we're going to choose boolean. And we want to use the difference operation. So I'm going to choose difference. And then we're going to use an object to do it. So choose that and choose holes, which is what we called these cylinders here. So when you do that, go ahead and select the cylinders and just drop them down. And make sure that the large one and the small ones are intersecting your plate. And then when you look at it, you have holes. But what you need to do is select your plate again and apply your Boolean modifier. Okay, once that's applied, select the holes again. Pull that out of there. You can delete it if you like. It's sort of like a template that we used. So I just did an X delete. Now you can see we have our holes, but we also have that extra geometry that it created. And that's easy to fix. Just go into 3, Side View, select this and tab into Edit Mode. Let's choose Vertex. And I'm just going to B Box Select all these vertices along here. B Box Select all the bottom vertices of the small holes. And just choose X Delete Vertices. Okay, so when we look at our plate now, we can tell that we have just what we need. We have the holes. So now if we uh, tab in edit mode, you can kind of see what I was talking about, hopefully. That you have all this geometry that needs to be, that needs to have edges because of the 32 vertices around these circles. And that re really just restricts them to that uh, small area that they're in, instead of creating holes and having vertices or edges running all across your your uh, plate which can cause you problems later on okay so we have our plate but it's you know infinitely thin so you probably want some thickness to it so just tab in edit mode a select all 
and we come in here and do an E extrude and make it however thick you think it should be and there's the plate so we have seven back into the, this view here that's our simple plate with the holes so that's pretty much it for this one I hope you enjoyed it um, what I'm gonna do in the next tutorial I'm actually gonna do a little bit more complicated um, drawing which has curves in it just to kind of go through how you would deal with it with the subsurf modifier so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions or comments please leave them below subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching